Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday on December first, a new month, a new, uh, a whole new, uh, uh, how can we say it, a whole new leaf. We're gonna start a whole new, a whole new month, and whatever happened in this in November is now in the past. Hopefully, everyone had a great, great month of November. I thought, I mean, I tell you, I think November was probably. I haven't seen so many. Three, four, five hundred percent winners, and I'm talking about not in like, you know, over the course of the year in like a day or two, but um, but you know what? Hopefully, everybody went over their their journals, their monthly journals. What we taught you what to do here. See if you're ready to go to the next level. If you didn't get to it, I know the weekend is right here, right around the block. So um, hopefully, you guys can get um, do that over the weekend. Very, very important, you guys. Uh, know exactly what you need to do. Uh, Ken tells us I, I put on a few pounds. You know, Ken, this is what the job entails. I mean, you know what, everyone? It's unfortunately, uh, you know what? You make so much money, Ken. Why don't you get a higher special? Why don't you go hire a uh, personal trainer? You're making so much money. What do you need to, uh, what do you worry about pounds for? You only work about an hour a day. Come on, everyone does. This is what it's all about. You know, that's so exciting. All right. Well, anyway, uh, but that's what it what it is what it is, and you know what? We're gonna put extra more pounds because now holiday season's around the corner. I got to, you know what? I don't know about you guys, but I got invited to so many holiday parties, and uh, like next week, I got two of them at some of the top steakhouses. My wife's gonna kill me. I'm gonna have to get the. I'm gonna um. We we'll probably have to invest in those expanding uh, expanding pants. What are those? Uh, they had those pants that had the little side things on them. Maybe. Oh my god. Too much money put uh, putting on weight on. Yeah, well, happy belly, happy day. That's what I tell my kids. All right, guys, so let's talk about what happened yesterday. We had a couple of really good stocks that made some decent moves. Not, you know, listen, I personally think last week and the week before were so much better, but we did have a couple of them, and some of them uh, came out of the woodworks, what we did really well with. Uh, Xnet uh, came back and started making some positive moves yesterday. Early morning runner from 11 to 14, and then you know did it did an afternoon run, but then had a nasty shake right at the end. So Xnet been it's been good to us, but uh, you had to catch that early in the morning. Square was just a great short. Um, good thing we got out of our square swing trade. You know at 47, we're looking awesome. Uh, right now, but Square, I know that some of you guys did pretty well. Nasty shake right there, you could see from the intraday, intraday chart. So be careful. Hopefully, everyone saw that and was very, very careful. Momo was a great short too, right out of the gate. That one from 26 all the way down to 23. Nice little three, a three buck pop, and then right here around like 10:15 when it broke higher highs. Uh, some of you missed on the shake. You could have probably got on the, on the rubber band bounce right there. So that one did pretty well. MYSZ was another one that we traded yesterday. That one, um, you know, I was a little disappointed in that one. It had a really quick pop, and it didn't go anywhere. It was great in pre-market. You know, some of you remember this back in February when we saw it go from two to 18. I was like, I was, I had my fingers crossed. I thought we were gonna monetize, uh, or this is gonna have a history of repeating itself again, but it didn't, obviously. But, you know, it was something better than nothing. And then Home was another one. Nice slow mover, went from 24 right to 26 within the first 15 minutes, did a couple of shakes, and then boom, went all the way to 28. Pretty decent, nothing spectacular, but it was okay. All right, so that's what we missed um, if you were not here yesterday. And uh, we're going to move on and talk about what's going on today. But before I do that, guys, I just want to uh, uh, like to thank, there's a lot of new members that are going to be joining us in the next couple of days. I know a lot of them are going to start on Monday, but if some of you are a little uh, impatient and you want to start it today on Friday, well, I can tell you is welcome aboard. Make sure you talk to your education advisor. And please keep in mind, this is not a trading room. This is a, I mean, I'm sorry, it's not a teaching room. This is a trading room. And if you want to know how we trade and how we all learn how to do it, just talk to education advisor. And then also, uh, Josh uh, should post up a video to you guys to watch regarding about as a new trial number, what to expect. All right. So let's, uh, let's all welcome them aboard. And uh, thanks, uh, thanks for... Um, Picking Cyber Trade University. All right, let's go do some shopping, guys, and see what's going on and see what's happening this morning. Uh, MARA is making a little bit of a comeback again. MARA is going to be on the watch list. A lot of you remember this from a dollar all the way to 10, and then you come right back down. I'm telling you, something's going on with the market. 
I don't know if there's a lot of program trading, but this is not normal. The stock goes up a thousand percent. I mean, it's good for us. It's terrible for a swing trader. But that one looks like it's making some interesting pre-market trading. So I want to keep an eye on that. Very important. Go back and check when you first traded MARA on your journals and see what, what your notes had to say about that. I saw Global this morning. It had a little bit of a push this morning, and then it kind of like stopped. I don't know what that's all about, but listen, we're at 10%, second biggest percentage gain on the NASDAQ, not really excited about that one. This one, I did bring this up this morning, or early this morning. I thought this one was probably the most decent mover. Look at that nice little pre-market. went from 1350, it's almost at $15. The stock, um, we did really, really well with this stock. It's a new IPO, not too old of a stock, but this one went from 12 over to 24, then backed right off. So it looks like it's kind of like, it's got a nice little push. I like this one a lot so far. This is probably the best one to day trade um, going on to this morning. X, um, SRAX, you know, it's up a little bit, 9%, 60, 68,000 shares, pretty decent. Took a little bit of a, another rubber band um, snapback from eight all the way down to five. We'll put it on the watch list. Listen, it's Friday, guys. You know, we don't really get a lot coming into a Friday. This is when people usually like to take off and enjoy themselves. There are a couple of, um, and enjoy the long weekend. Plug is making a, somewhat of a big little move right here. I don't know if Plug has anything to do with uh, Digital Power Corporation, but this one also is doing pretty well, the DPW. So I'm gonna put those two on our watch list. Those are the companies that actually, if I remember correctly, they make the batteries for like Tesla and all those electric cars and stuff like that. Very interesting stocks. All right, so losers, are we going to get any dead cap bounces here? I don't know. Here's a stock that's down over about $200, uh, $200 stock, down $14. Ultra Beauty, wow, $200 stock. My God, I got to get, I, I wish I had a stock that was, uh, my company's worth 200 bucks a share. Anyway, <laughs> we're not trading that one. LL, uh, LLNW taking a nice little hit right here. Uh, you could see whatever goes up comes down. This one came down like five times faster. I don't know if we can get a dead cat bounce on this one. HMNY, you all remember that one. Beautiful. One of our good friends right there. $250 all the way to $40. Cha-ching, guys. Remember that one? That was awesome. HMNY, we did great on that one. But anyway, are we trading it now? No, we're not interested. All right, New York Stock Exchange. What do we got going on there? Obviously, they don't always offer us as much on the NASDAQ. But let's try it out. UQM. It's gapped up a little bit from a buck fifty to two dollars. You know, long term trade looks pretty decent. As a day trader, I'm not really a fan of it. CPL, this one got destroyed. Went from look at that, look at that haircut. Went from I don't know if they call it a haircut, they call it crew cut. Seventeen down to twelve. Kind of, uh, you could see it went from fifteen all the way down to right around eleven. It's making a little bit of comeback. This one could be a little dead cap bounce right here. The CP, uh, um, the CPL. So that one's definitely going to make my uh, watch list. Is that Blue Apron? Apron right here? Is that APAR? Is that it? I think so. Yeah, Blue Apron. Uh, I still can't figure out that company, how they make money. But anyway, you can see just by the stock, went from 12 down to 3. Was It's a new IPO. Not doing too well. I don't know. Maybe it finally met bottom. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know about a day trade, but uh, maybe, maybe a short-term swing trade. You know? But as of right now, we're not. We got to see. We got to see more out of it. All right. So I think uh, that's about it. Uh, Ken thought Ben got another two thousand of XNet uh, to his short. I just saw that right now. Let's just look that up on the um, XNet. Well, like I said, you know, be uh, just be very careful. That stock is getting a little bit of a uh, starting to get a little bit of a rubber band bounce on that one. All right, guys. I forgot I set my alarm for 4 a.m. <laughs> you guys don't believe 4 a.m. I get people complain. They're like, I'm West Coast. I can't wake up that early. Listen, all you got to do is wake up for about 30 minutes and you'll be fine. You can go back to sleep. You know, there's no other way. And, and, and then for people that trade futures, listen, the only opportunity you have on futures, you got to wait for the London Exchange. Imagine early how you have to wake up for that one. All right, guys, so we have a pretty decent list. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six stocks, not the biggest. I always like to have 10. Just remember, all new members, probably one or two of them are gonna make a move. We always find a bunch of new ones that will come out when the gate opens up at 
Eastern time. So we'll see how that goes and we'll go out there and share them with you as we see them. Fellow traders, you see something, say something. You know, let's work together like a team and uh, hopefully we can uh, recruit a, a bunch more traders to the room. All right. A couple of things. Anything I'm missing, I did not, I did not call out. Uh, Kathleen, I will be posting it once the meeting is over. Just give me about 30 seconds. I'm not a fast hyper. I'm just a fast trader. So I will post that up in the announcements and I will be posting this on our YouTube channel. So uh, for all YouTube fans out there, uh, we'll be able to get to see that. Not as quick as you, but you know, you'll be ready to get there. All right, no problem. Uh, today can trade uh, just one more hour only, and then it's all yours. Uh, Deb, uh, fine. Ben, what platform are you using? Okay, so it looks like you guys are looking to make some friends here. All right, so everybody, like I said, um, if you are a new member here and you just signed up, please talk to Education Advisor. You'll see you got an email regarding it, and then just sit back and watch. Just look, listen, and learn. All right, guys, good luck today, and if I don't see you uh, at the afternoon meeting, that's that. That's great. That means you did well and you joined in a long weekend because that's what trading is all about. It's not a full-time job. It's a part-time job. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading and uh, see you. Um, see you in the afternoon. Let's let's try to make some money.